Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent 16-port USB 3.0 data hub and charging station. Now, this is one of the first accessories from Sabrent that I've ever covered. Traditionally, I've looked at their portable NVMe drives and enclosures, but this thing is pretty cool. It's been on the market since 2018. They did furnish this to me for review purposes for those of you that are wondering. It retails for a little under 100 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. And what you see on the box is exactly what you get. So we have 16 individual USB ports, uh, 3.0 transfer speeds, 90 watts in terms of total power. It does have its own power supply. It even has its own mounting bracket and then individual control for each of those ports so you can turn them on or off. So again, whether you want this to be all about data or all about charging or both, you can do it. And I really like these sort of products. They're flexible. They give you really, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do with it. If you have a lot of different devices that charge off of USB, this is a really easy way to consolidate it. And because it's got 90 watts of power, well, you're not going to have an issue when it comes to power delivery. So let's get this thing out of the package. Again, it comes with its own uh, rear screw panel for mounting, I believe. Uh, so a uh, wide variety of different applications for this. And that's what makes it cool. I think this launched back in 2018. So it's in no way a brand spanking new product. In fact, you might be wondering where's the, the type C version of this, but as we all know, you can go from type A to type C, so that's not an issue. In fact, 99% of the type C devices out there uh, are type C to type A. And again, I think this is something that everyone could use, especially uh, at a time like the one we're all facing now with the pandemic, even if you're one of the people that's out there running around, please don't do that. Um, great for an at-home workstation, great for pretty much any household um, where you've got tablets, smartphones, all of those things, cameras uh, that can all be charged via a USB-A port like this. But the fact that you have, again, power delivery, and then on top of that, control with these individual switches and then LEDs to actually let you know uh, that power delivery uh, is either there or not with the switch of the button is why I thought this would be something unique uh, to share with all of you. So pretty straightforward. We've got power delivery right there, the DC input and the USB 3.0 port right there. Because again, if you want to just connect this to your PC and give yourself 16 additional USB ports, you can do that. Uh, it's really up to you how you want to use this. Uh, and of course, uh, because it has that power delivery, that's what makes it even more unique. Uh, because look, this could be something in the office, you know, you want to have uh, a central hub for uh, whatever devices, whatever business you're in, pretty much everything speaks USB power these days, right? So here's that uh, mounting plate for the back. Uh, get into that later. And here is the actual power brick, which uh, the mounting equipment for the plate. The power brick itself, which is pretty much what I expected it to look like, you know, a traditional brick. Uh, this is the actual end that plugs in uh, to the hub itself. And then we have our wall wart right here. And, you know, fairly straightforward, plug that in. I might actually do this right now and just give it a plug. Then our USB cable as well. Let's pop that open. Don't think. I think I just got to go through that. I'm not going to use my fingers. They're beat up enough from the pup these days. For those of you wondering, the lab is now around 70 pounds. He's a big boy, um, but he's great. Um, the cat and him don't get along too well in spite of the fact that the cat is big enough to defend himself. But off topic. So back to this. I'm trying to get this undone. I'm trying my best, I promise. Um, but really, this is just such a versatile accessory, and it's one of those things that I think once you have one of these, you kind of wonder how you lived without one before, because they're so convenient. I mean, I've had smaller versions of this, but nothing with 16 ports, and this really opens up things. You know, I may end up using this in the studio. Uh, 
uh, it's not something that I think a lot of people would necessarily want to stick in their kitchen, but you know, server room, clean room, things like that. You can just do so much with this. So let me go ahead and actually, I'm going to plug this in right now. If I can find uh, somewhere on the wall here to plug it in, I'm going to, because I do have a surge here that isn't too far away. And you're going to immediately see how this works. So I'm going to pop it in DC input. Let's take this down below. I will plug this into, I hope I have an available port. Let's see. Pretty sure I should. And if not, I will make one available, okay? That's how I roll. So let's, if things move around, don't worry. Hopefully nothing falls on my head. I don't think it will. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, I think I've got something. What do I got, what do I got? I do have something, we're in luck. So, here we go. You ready? You should see power traveling to it. Should have lit up, or maybe not. May only light up when it's actually in use. Actually, no, I do see the power and you do too. It's just my lighting was drowning it out a little bit. So essentially now you have the ability to control the, that 90 watts of delivery to each port. Now, in terms of fast charge, you know, quick charging capability, things like that, I'm not getting into that today, but the idea is really simple. So I'm trying to see what I've got here. I have, um, you know, for example, Insta360 1R, and I want to just plug that in and charge it. So, of course, I do need, I don't have the Insta360 uh, cable right here, the type uh, A, but I do have another one, so that'll do the trick, and it is from Sabrent, so that works, right? Yes, it does. So, we're going to go ahead and plug in the type A to the hub right now. Go ahead and pop that in there. And pop this into the Insta360. And the Insta360 has power. Now, if I hit the switch, power is off. So this is part of what makes this unique, is that you're controlling that 90 watts and how you want to actually use it. So I mean, it's really up to you what you want to do with this, but the idea is really simple. It's giving you 16 outlets for either power or data or, again, mixed use. It's really up to you. I will probably use this in conjunction with the PC just because I have more peripherals than hair on my head. That makes me sound bald. I have all of my hair, thankfully, still. But you get what I'm saying. So uh, who knows? It may find its life in another capacity. Uh, but I will follow up, talk about uh, the throughput and really pushing it to its limitations. Because again, 90 watts of power is a lot. And it should give me the ability to charge just about anything in my arsenal. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. And please stay safe. Later.